<coughs> Hi and a very good day to everyone. In this video, I will show you about a curve work curve curtain wall systems in Revit. Okay. Okay. To do a curve curtain wall system, basically we must do it from the mesh as a basis. Okay. So let's go to the Messing Inside tab and go to the Conceptual Mess and click In Place Mess. And it opens up a pop up. Revit has enabled the Show Mess Mode because by default it has turned off the Show Mess Mode. Okay, so close. Okay. Mess 1, or you can give any name that you want. Okay, so we now in the mesh environment. Okay, mesh editing environment. So we have properties panel, draw panel, work plane panel, model panel. If you want to import a component in your mesh, then dimension as usual, finish, and also the editor close and finish. Okay, so here you got in draw panel, you got model reference and also pen plane okay model it where you want to create a line for your model frame or mesh frame okay. reference you want to create a line to be the base plane for your model line okay in plane if you want to create a reference plane from any surface or face that you have done maybe in complex building or complex design <clears throat> so we got draw panel in and we can select curve style draw tools such as here spline or also spline through point okay you can pick either one so I I will choose spline here for example okay, draw your spine to make it curve okay then escape twice then you got it one line so to do a form here you must create more than one line okay to produce a solid form or a mesh form so uh, you can just copy then paste Line to select level. You choose level two. Okay. So I'll go to three D. So you can see. So this is, will be our frame of the mesh or curtain, curtain wall. Okay. So if you want to change a little bit to make it more interesting or complex. This so it doesn't have to be familiar with the build one. Okay, now how we want to create form? Click the line here, two line as our frame, then click create form. Solid form, not void form, okay void form for subtractive modeling you can also use it so here we're going to use solid form <coughs> so you got form here okay basic form then click finish mesh okay, it says that contains only mesh contain only mesh geometry because it doesn't come up with enclosure or enclosed model right doesn't matter because we want to model it just for our facade or curtain wall <coughs> okay next we go to architecture curtain system okay then here you got the default curtain system and the next step you can or you can choose or can create 
custom cut the system then you choose your mesh surface then click create system okay now it transform the surface of a mesh to a curtain wall okay so you can see the shape is the shape curve or the curtain wall curve that seems smooth so how to change it to be smooth okay first of all over your mouse to the pen to the mesh or model tap until you yeah, until it shows curtain system okay so you must choose the curtain system click left click then you must edit type okay this side just duplicate same name okay a curve means that the curve will become smoother if we make the distance or space between panel or grid smaller okay so you can adjust here from 3000 just to fit or 600 maybe or here also 600 then okay So you can see the result. The curve becomes smoother, okay? Because the distance or the span between the grid line also determine the smooth of the shape of the curve. Next, how we want to create Marlin for this at the time. So you can see Marlin grid on Marlin. Right now I'm set to none. So you can just click add this default shape or whatever shape that you have put in the into the model. 25 for example circle. So here we got our Marlin. Next, we want to define the curtain panel. Okay, right now it doesn't have a panel at the glaze of solid, so you can choose here solid for aluminum, for example. So now that we have our curve cut wall facade, okay. The next thing you need to do is you want to delete the mess or you want to hide the mess visibility, okay. To hide this like the, the interference here, okay. So first of all, we go to VG, VG. Or go to here, 3D view properties, edit type, then go to mask and thing here. Okay, this is turn off in this view. So, okay, so this is for the view only, but we have turned on for the at the mask inside tab. So, this is just for the setting for the view. Okay. Okay, so it is still visible. So you must change it in here. Essential mass. So you must turn off show mass by view setting. So it will be according to our VG, right? So here we go. Next, about the panel. 
you can also modify it panel by panel okay you can just hover your mouse and tap until it, it select the pad solid panel okay you, you must unpin it then you can choose like glazed whatever material that you have done or set or if you want to create a combined surface you can click and and click the select the grid here tap until it select the grid then you can see add and remove segment so you can remove segment so did it element okay now combine it to one So you can change unpin paste okay. So that's basically what you want to do or what shall do when you create a curtain wall, a curve curtain wall systems by using mass, okay? Alright. Okay, how about the shape? The shape is more advanced, okay, we can create another. Okay, so that's, that's the basic on how to create a curve curtain wall systems in Revit. In the next video, maybe I will show you how to create a, a pattern-based curtain wall in Revit. Alright, so that's all for me. Thanks for watching.